Hello, how's it going people YouTube, welcome back to the channel, is my helmet, see my helmet's a bit squiffy, I need to get a mirror when I put this on, so, <clears throat> I've just, uh, I've just noticed that my, Go my GoPro, my element bolt has actually cracked, just here, I don't know if you can see that, just here at the base, I noticed when it was on my bike, it was quite loose. It's usually quite solid. I could probably super glue it. If I could get glue in at the base, like lift up a tiny bit and still keep it, because it's still attached at this top part. But it's cracked like underneath, like under here. So if I can get like a cocktail stick and get super glue in the base and then clamp it down, it, it should be okay. I don't know whether I'm going to ride... I should be okay with it on. I don't think it's gonna, because I just noticed when it, it it's usually always solid. Yeah, it's kind of so loose. I'm just gonna put it there just now. I need to keep an eye on it. But anyway, uh, how, how's it going? Uh, it's been really. I mean, today is almost like a polar opposite of what it's been like for the last week, week and a half. It's just been raining like constant, it, like heavy rain, windy, quite stormy. But I'm actually overdressed. That's how I noticed my, my mount is a little bit off because I went to change to see what the temperature was. And I noticed when I pressed it, there's a lot of movement. Usually it's quite soft. 19 degrees. Which, for this, this is rated up to, I think, 15 degrees. So I'm a bit too warm with it. If, if I'd looked, I usually look at my weather app, but I, I kind of walked home from work at about half, half 11 and it was... It was nice, it was, I probably should have known that it was actually not a bad day. So, not been out. Uh, last time I was out on the bike would have been, uh, let me think about this actually. Uh, oh, that's a good one actually. It's probably going back last week. This is what, Sunday? I don't think I was out like, last week. I think it was out the week before. It might even have been like maybe the... Oh, I can remember heading to the station hotel where there was a fire that broke out there. But I think I did that video. But I think I was out after that when I think about it. I think I was out on... Because um, I did a video uploaded and I put that at the end of the video. But that was like on Tuesday or something. So I think I was actually out a bit... Probably just over a week ago. I see the weather, the weather's been horrendous here. It's just been, like today, as I say, it's almost like a a really nice, quite a warm, a warm day. But it's just been raining solid for the last few days. A little, little bit of spell where we did have a bit of sun, but I was heading to my bed, so. Couldn't really get out the bike. I was thinking of doing a turbo session. I, I did that turbo, that ill-fated iPad turbo session with it. It cut out, and I was I was on the the moor, I think it's called M U U R, in Belgium, and it cut out. Uh, I thought I'd enough like I had a battery pack, but it just ran out. So quite a little ride today. I'm I'm working again tomorrow, but I finished quite early. I finished at quarter to six in the morning, so I'll be able to get home, even get a little bit of shut eye, and probably try and get out tomorrow if it's the weather's okay I mean again I don't mind cycling and rain I, th I think cycling and rain is actually quite enjoyable um, with me having rim brakes it's not ideal <clears throat> uh, well carbon rims uh, rim brake so it's not ideal for that um, I probably should really get my, my cyclocross bike sort of sorted get that up and running, get the gears kind of indexed a bit better because the cable stretch or the, it's probably, it'll need, it'll need to set up again and maybe go out on that bike when it's really bad because it has got disc brakes. But the only thing is, and this is one of the reasons why I like rim brake, I can like maintain this bike and get it to where I need it and sort it. Whereas disc brakes, my cyclocross bike's actually got a bit of a, I think it's, I don't know if it's the front brake or the back, What's that? Right, it's the front brake, I think. The one in, in, in the right-hand side, 
there's not a lot of play in it and it, it, it's as if it needs bled a little bit but I don't really have I don't have the stuff for it I don't have the little bleed kit and the kind of where you take the ear out and all that jazz I don't have that and I'm kind of reluctant to sit and buy it because I don't know how much it's going to cost but um, I don't really want to buy it when I can buy something for this bike that I need um, like more inner tubes or something else but I don't really fancy buying like a, a, a brake bleed kit I mean at some point I'm probably I'm going to have a road bike that is disc brake but at the moment this bike I'm, I'm keeping this bike for as long as I can because um, I just like rim brake I just like the fact I can I can service the brakes you know and, and do, do all, all the other bits and bobs pretty pretty easily but it, it works fine I don't think it's rubbing I think it's just a little bit like when you press it there's no sort of give it's like it's just like the weavers it's almost as if it's like like, I can only explain it for a, a rim brake bike if it was on the rim so if I, if I tightened that down so that it was clamped on the rim and I pressed the, the, the brake weaver it, that's what it would be like it would be like it would just maybe move a little bit there would be a bit of but it wouldn't be like free flow then it bites in so I don't know what's up with it it needs reset but I don't know really have the skill level to do it probably probably could do it but I don't have the kit, the the, oh, the bleed kit and stuff. So, but today I'm just out for a quick ride. Um, so I, I want to keep these um, vlogs kind of current. So basically the, the Shimano crank news. So my cranks are affected. Um, some of the, the posts, like the one that, who was it that did it? Um... Basically, the GP Llama did one. Somebody else did one. I can't think who it was. But they didn't really have that much information. GP Llama actually had like the replacements that, that, that you are going to get if your if cranks are affected. So the Altegra, the ones I have, I think all the, Alteg all the Altegra is just the crank side that needs to be checked. This side, like the left side, is fine. Uh, there's no issues it's just the crank I think the Durace it's both both left pedal and the crank side um, so and you get if if you do get a replacement it's going to be a 12 speed with an 11 speed I don't know how they do it I think 12 speed and 11 speed would work together I don't know if they do anything different like I don't know if they change I, I don't know if they have like the 11 speed rings but they put the crank arm I, I, I don't know how they do it but they're, they're, going, they're, they're going to give you the 12 speed but it's basically like a bottom bracket issue if you have a, like a creaking sound coming that's the first sign that it's starting to delaminate I've not had any of that um, I mean I probably don't really put like, massive power numbers in my, my cranks uh, Sort of bigger kind of guy, and I probably do put a little bit more power, but I've not heard anything. So, I'm what I'm what I'm going to do personally. I'm going to contact. There's a shop in Kilmarnock, which is my closest, and then I've got one in Paisley and one in Glasgow. I don't know if there's any in like Edinburgh and that, but that's just in like a fifty kilometre range. Um. So I'm probably going to email. I might email both stores and just say, "Look, what's the what's the situation here? How how's it working? How long is it going to take to get? Because it's only a visual inspection. But I've heard that if you take your bike, it gets passed, and then maybe X amount of time down down the line, you, you just listen out for. You just keep hearing if there's any any creaks, take it in. First sign of creaks, you'll get. Uh, cranks replaced and I imagine that's going to last I don't know how long is a bit of string here but you know how many people are going to be riding these cranks for as long as they possibly can um, so I don't know I'm going to find out if where I stand do I need a bike shop to say right there you go you get like a little bit of paper that says that it's been checked 
and as the guy will probably say that just listen out if there's any sign of trouble just come straight back because I believe that the shop gets paid I think it's like £36 pounds, I believe um, for each inspection so the bike shop's actually getting something back now I've got a local bike shop but he's not an authorised dealer I think he sells Shimano but he doesn't he's not an authorised dealer so I'd, I'm I'd be a bit reluctant to, 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 to take it there because I don't I'm not saying they don't have the expertise but for me just to take it in for the hint to look at it maybe 30 40 minutes however long it takes um, just to authorise and say yep your, your bike's fine I mean I've done a visual check and I've not seen any I've not heard any either so like visually and also the old uh, the old lug hole I've not heard any like, damage so so that's that that's the standpoint on the cranks um, the, T, the TPUs in fact do you know what I'll, I'll pause this because I end up flapping on for Hey, welcome back. So, TPUs. TPUs have been absolutely phenomenal. Like, uh, I was really, like, I've, I've ridden, I've ridden enough now that I, I can probably safely say that they're, they're absolutely peachy. Um, they're, they're very fast, very light. I mean, I've lost probably, I, I never weighed the inner tubes that I had. But I think the difference in weight is almost like 200 grams, which is quite a lot. I mean, this will probably take this bike. I'll actually, I've never weighed my bike, and I've got carbon handlebars. I've maybe done a couple of minor tweaks. Um, I think it's about 7.5 kilograms, 7.6. So that 200 gram could take it under 7.5 uh, kilograms, which is so it's a big difference in weight. Um, but they've been really fast. You can feel that they're, they're, they're kind of lightweight. Um, also, they've been holding the air really well. Like I've just came out of my bike today, I had a little feel, a little pinch of the tyres, and I, I probably only lost a couple of p, like one two psi, or even if that. Where if it was butyle, I feel I'd probably have to pump the tyres up a little bit. They ride super super fast, um, just really really good. My biggest, and this still really like kind of blows my mind a little bit is the actual feel of the tyre because I, I was under the impression it'd be really really harsh really bumpy a lot of road feedback but it's completely the, it's the polar opposite it's just so fast and it, it rides the bumps really well because it's not absorbing the bumps as much you're almost just sort of flying over them and that gives you just a really good ride Um, just just unbelievably different and it, it, it it still really surprises me. Even even riding it today, it just feels so good over bumps. And as I say, I've got a lot of dead roads, um, like locally. Like when you start going down like towards south of Ayr, like heading towards Denur and um, Queen Castle down that side, Given, there's a lot of dead roads there. So it's just like, it's like a, how do you explain a dead road? It's like, it's not like a super smooth tarmac. It's like, I don't even know if it's cement, but they put like uh, stone chips in it. So it's very porous, very kind of open, open pores on the road. And you get this kind of buzz like constantly. And it's just like that all the time, but you can't really free wheel over it. So you've got to pedal like constantly, just pedal, 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 like all the time. Chief was then. She knew turn up my front wheel. Huh? Yeah? That should give me a carbon wheel. What? Ah. But yeah, you just got to pedal it just constantly. So you, 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 you're just wasting so much energy. But these tyres on dead roads are absolutely unbelievable. It's just, it's night and day. It, it, it means. Like going over even that little stretch of road just down down here, which I'm probably not going to do today. I'm just going to head back in. You, you just, I mean, I know it's only like a couple of watts energy wise. It makes a big difference, uh, and I wouldn't even say it's marginal gains. I would say it's actually like like proper gain gains. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's just really good. 
So yeah, I'm all right today. I'm not, I'm not doing much today. I'm just gonna head back. Just wanted to get a bit of fresh air between the old lungs. Um, been cooped up, like cabin fever almost. So today, or this week, going into Monday, this is Sunday the 8th of October. So, oh, I got hand cramps. So, plan is, tomorrow I work, but as I say, I finish early, and then I'm in on Tuesday. So I finish Tuesday morning, so I'll be off. Tuesday's like my, my first real day. That, that's that's what I, I take all my time. My heel's really sore. I think it's just from work, it's sore. But, oh, it's a little bit painful in these shoes, because these are a little bit tight. But, um, so I finish Tuesday morning, so I'll make the most of Tuesday. Don't know what the weather's going to be like. I don't really plan ahead that far, but we'll see what it's like. Um, and off Wednesday, full day. And Thursday's a kind of half day off. Back to my bed early. Back in. Back in Friday. Uh, probably be in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe Monday. Maybe off. Tuesday, then back. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Probably off the Saturday. Uh, I think that's how it's going to go. But yeah, next week I'll see what happens. I want to try and get a little bit more. Like if it's wet like that, just do more turbo sessions. But I, I struggle um, sweat wise. But I probably really don't mind maybe even just doing like an easier ride, but just still getting kilometres, but not really pushing it like a, like, uh, you know, like a Tour de France um, pro cycles type of thing. You know, just keep it, get a bit of sweat on, but just don't really push it too much. But anyway, that's the plan. That's that's what's been happening. As I said, I'm a bit disappointed with my... I think... I think somebody's moved my bike and they've grabbed out the front. If you grab this part here, because it's broken at this part. So I think somebody's lifted my bike up like this. I'm not blaming. I'm not... So, nah, I'm not... I'm, oh, I kind of am, but I'm maybe not. And it's actually kind of broke it. But if I can get some super glue in it, I think it would probably bond quite well. But I'll need to wait and see. It's a bit of a pain. And I can't really afford to buy another uh, like, uh, element bolt, but... It's, it's, it is fixable. It is fixable. So, anyway, I'm going to head now. I don't even, I'm not... Let's see, I'm not going to entertain going up Green Hill Climb today. I'm just kind of... I just wanted to get out. I just wanted to get out, get fresh air, stretch the legs. I've actually, oh, at work a cage fell. And as it fell, I tried to grab it. I know it's like, it's one of those things you see, oh, if something falls, just let it go. But I tried to grab it. I let it go, and as I let it go, it flipped up, like the back end, and it just rubbed up my shin. Oh, I don't have Taekwondo shins, you know what I mean? I don't have like that kind of where I could like, kick a metal pole. Um, it's, I don't bruise easy. Like, I, I very rarely bruise. I got a little bit of yellow up, like, up here, up the top end. I've got like a, like a, a it's not a dent, but I've got like an impact point with a, like a red scab type of thing. And then it just <laughs> brushed up my shin and it's kind of caught up right up my knee. I've had a little bit of sharp pain in my knee, but it's not, like, it's not overly bad, but I'm, I'm not feeling it in the bike, but I didn't want to really overstress it today, so um, it's kind of semi-healed a little bit. It's worse when you get into bed and you kind of, if you lean on it or something, it, it can be really sore, but yeah, I'm going to head now, so anyway, take care. And this hat is, look, it's miles off. I need to do this kind of thing when I go with my nose. So I need to feel. <laughs> so when you put on like a green beret and you, you do that, look, I don't know, they guys do a certain thing. Anyway, I'm off. Catch you later.